Right then, you are all up. This week on Burnt Wolf Airsoft, I'm going to be taking a look at this little beauty, the WE Mauser M712. By Joe was this going to treat to use, but first let's get into the specs. The main gun itself is made from metal, solidly built, it weighs in at a reasonable 1.1 kilograms and has a rather nice thick wood grip. The Mauser measures in at 29 centimeters without the stock and 69 centimeters with the stock attached. Sit down, it's only a number. The stock also doubles up as a holster and trust me, you should have no worries about losing your gun from this thing. It's a push button release system. Just don't expect to be quick drawing the thing. The stock looks the works, but unfortunately it's made out of hollow plastic and has rather interesting acoustic properties to say the least. I found it comfortable to use though. However, I'm 6'6 six six with orangutan arms, and a lot of the shorter chaps who were having a go at this gun found that it was rather lacking in the ergonomics department, and they said they felt kind of stretched trying to hold it to the shoulder. The Mauser 712 comes with a 10 round short mag, which you will need to use in this gun if you'd like to use it in the holster, otherwise it won't fit. However, aftermarket, and now from a quick look online, they often come with the gun, 26 round extended magazines are available and are what I would personally recommend when using this gun. Otherwise, you're just gonna fire it on full auto for half a second and then all your bullets are gone and off we go. The Mauser has all the standard buttons and switches we're used to on our pistols. However, being based on a gun from a long, long time ago, they're not the most easy to use in the hand and certainly not made for filthy lefties. However, with a bit of thought, the safety can be applied and the rate of fire adjusted. Now, let's get on to how it shoots. Shooting at a nice, safe 310 FPS on 0.2 gram BBs, in single shot, the Mauser is rather accurate, very accurate in fact. And at 20 meters, Tom, who had never picked up this pistol in his life, had no trouble hitting the ping plate at 20 meters straight off. The most fun part about this gun, however, is clicking it into full auto. This little pistol can really churn out the rounds and turns it into more of a carbine. And I got through a fair few mags thoroughly testing this feature, I can tell you. The gas blowback's got a good solid kick to it, however, it does vent off quite a lot of gas, which is rather cool looking. However, this means that the mags should be topped up after each magazine. Also, when it comes to the gas blowback, shoot this thing with your wrist tilted up and you'll know about it. The slide will give you quite a whack. God bless the early 1900 ergonomics. So that's something to watch out for if you're shooting one of these things. The owner of this riff also reported that because of the mech, it does need to be cleaned quite often to keep everything ticking over. And also because of the strange mechanism on it, it's a fiddly bugger to take apart and clean compared to most airsoft pistols. All in all, costing £150, I still think this gun is actually worth the money. However, it's not without its faults, which should be given serious consideration before you run out and buy this thing. It's not the easiest to operate or to clean and maintain. However, though, I thought it was still a lot of fun to shoot, and despite all of the faults, I'm seriously considering actually getting one of these when my trusty 911 finally dies, just to have something different from all the other things that we see out on the airsoft fields. Anyway, that's my look at the WE Mauser 712. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, reviews, and how-tos. Anyway, back to whatever you're doing. That is...